హలో గైడ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఫస్ట్ కోడర్ ట్వంటీ వన్ మెడికల్ కోడింగ్ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ ద పర్పస్ ఆఫ్ ది ఛానల్ ఇస్ టు హెల్ప్ ద పీపుల్ హూ ఆర్ ఇన్ నీడ్ ఆఫ్ మెడికల్ కోడింగ్ రిలేబుల్ రీసోర్సెస్ ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ ఆల్రెడీ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ హెల్ప్ యువర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ టు సబ్స్క్రైబ్ ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ విజిటింగ్ ఫర్ ద ఫస్ట్ టైమ్ దెన్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ బటన్ టు రిసీవ్ ఫ్యూచర్ అప్డేట్స్ ఇన్ మెడికల్ కోడింగ్ ఫీల్డ్ దిస్ ఛానల్ ఈజ్ హెల్ప్ఫుల్ ఫర్ ఫ్రెషర్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ కోడర్స్ యాజ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఏపీసీ సర్టిఫికేషన్ ఎగ్జామ్స్ అండ్ ఐఎంఆర్ సర్టిఫికేషన్ If you have any other topics or concerns, please mention in the comments section. Please click on like button to encourage and motivate us. Please watch until the end to gain in-depth knowledge about ICD-10CM, CPT, Equix coding systems. As these Q&A systems are very useful in live coding, medical coding interviews, CPC and CCS certification process. Guys, if you go to any interview, keep familiar with the code books like ICD-10CM, CPT, Equix. As our session will assist you in the process of interviews but not an alternative original interview process the certification exams which are conducted by APC or AHIMA Guys uh, as you know uh, today's our topic is denial management coding session 2 already we have published session 1 in our channel you can watch it So in this session our first question is how do you calculate denial rate answer to calculate denial rate we need to divide the number of denied claims from a payer by the total number of claims submitted to that payer and multiply this by 100 to determine your denial rate and establish the benchmark benchmark means minimum rate denial rate we need to keep next question what is the equation to identify denial rate answer denial rate is equals claims denied by total claims into 100 for example if the total claims denied are 10 and total claims 100 into 100 then only we can get denial rate next question what are the common causes for denials the common causes of denials are inception documentation wrong principal diagnosis selection incorrectly billed diagnostic related group codes appending inappropriate modifier lack of medical necessity incorrect coding no response errors split billing errors confusing icd 10 cm codes or cpt codes unbundling services selecting the wrong procedure codes not linking diagnosis codes or dated knowledge as these words are self explanatory we can understand is inception documentation means we have few documentation which is necessary for coding so if we have more documentation only we can complete that case second one wrong principal diagnosis incorrectly billed diagnostic related group codes so as you know drg group codes like modifier also plays very important role in denial so whenever we code we need to check the medical necessity for the procedure as well the diagnosis for the diagnosis we need to code the related procedure and uh, incorrect coding non response errors split billing error confusing icd 10 codes or cpt codes like that next question what is the importance of denial management answer to identify the reason for each denial so if we have proper management only we can identify the reason so to study denial trends and patterns and identify the root cause of costly denials so root cause means what is the base for the denial so if you know the base cause we can rectify that to include process reports to measure denied claims to static statical purpose we can use for a seamless integration of software and efficient workflow to prevent future recurrence of denials for future denials also we can use denial management to deal with denials within 72 hours of receipt so if we have good denial man- management process we can rectify the denials within 72 hours of receipt like 3 days within 3 days next one is to reduce the cost to collect so using denial management we can reduce the cost and also to enhance the account collection and manage denials efficiently to reduce manual work and effort involved in checking in denial errors so if we have denial management process 
we can solve our denial management errors next question what is appeal answer appeal means a process by which you your doctor or your hospital can object to your health plan when you disagree with the health plan's decision to deny payment for your care so whenever we have like payer denies our payment we can make it as a appeal using appeal we can explain our concerns next question how do you prevent experimental denials first one check which procedure code is denied second one check the previous claims to see same procedure code paid if paid send the claim back for reprocessing we need to check the previous cases whether previous cases got the payment or not so if previously not paid send the claim to coding review take action as per the coders review if required send an appeal with medical record if appeal upheld escalate to the client for further action here also appeal means we are uh, like expanding our concerns how do you prevent cpt code denial answer first check eob eob means explanation of benefit reach out claims department to which cpt code is denied so first we need to check which cpt code is denied check if same procedure code is paid previously so we need to check the same code whether it is paid previously or not if previously paid then send the claim back for reprocessing so if previously not paid send the claim to coding review for the correct procedure code it's easy as it is self explanatory next question how do you prevent frequency oblique unit denials first check how many units billed second check how many units are allowed as per the patient medical policy for example if the code is allowed for only four units but you have billed them claim with five units the claim will be denied for frequency or unit third one correct and resubmit the claim to insurance as corrected claim as per the patient medical policy so each and every code has we have frequency limit so for some codes we can use only once so otherwise if you use multiple times it will give a error to us so we need to check before sending the document if you find any edit for frequency for example suppose units billed as per the medical policy then call and send the claim back for reprocessing so we need to check some whether sometimes what happens pets will also overlook the code and they will reject so if the we need to check medical policy as per the medical policy is frequency is correct we need to send the claim back for the reprocessing next question how do you prevent diagnosis code denials answer first to check explanation the benefit or reach out claim department to to find out which diagnosis code is denied check if same diagnosis code is paid previously if previously paid then send the claim back for reprocessing if previously not paid send the claim to coding review for correct diagnosis code which is uh, like uh, common for as previously we learned for cpt and icd for both of the denials same first we need to check check uh, eob eob means explanation of benefits to claim department to find which diagnosis is denied so we need to check whether payer paid the payment for that specific code previously or not if the payment is paid previously we need to change the claim for reprocessing if not paid we need to code it properly how do you prevent medical necessity denials so in medical coding medical necessity play a very important role whether we are like coding uh, uh, relating diagnosis with procedure or diagnosis with medication we need to check the medical necessity for each and every service so we, here we can check how do you prevent medical necessity denials answer first check cpt and diagnosis code combination so as we discussed just now so uh, we need to check relation between icd and cpt next see if the same cpt and diagnosis code is paid if paid then send claim back for the reprocessing this is also like uh, cpt and the icd if the 
claim is paid previously we need to send back them for reprocessing if not paid we need to send the claim back to the coding department for review or patient individual falls website to verify the cpt and diagnosis code combination so if claim billed correctly and the same claim back for reprocessing so from our side we have coded correctly we need to send that for reprocessing if claim billed incorrectly update the correct code and resubmit the claim as corrected claim as our code is wrong we need to code it properly and it send it again so how do you prevent inclusive denial first check which procedure code is inclusive inclusive means like we have comprehensive and component procedure in comprehensive procedure we not we can't code component procedure so we need to check which procedure code is inclusive next check whether that procedure code is inclusive with the same claim with other procedure code other claim on same date of service not on the same claim your second scenario is same claim with other procedure code first check whether the primary procedure code is paid like primary procedure check whether a claim bill with any modifier correct or not we need to check modifier is added or not append the correct modifier and resubmit the claim as corrected claim sometimes we need to use the modifier instead of a five digit cpt code so whenever we find the denial we need to check whether this procedure includes you to primary procedure or not if it is not primary procedure it is not included in the primary procedure instead of coding five digit cpt code it is better to add a modifier like increased procedural service reduced service like that third scenario is other claims and same dos check that the procedure code is same or not next check whether the provider is same or not verify whether correct modifier appended or not so here we have three regions see procedure code is same or not our provider is same or not and modifier is appended or not so all these things will play very important role while payer paying paymenting money to the patient next scenario is other claim and same dos dos means date of service check if the procedure code is same or not next check whether the provider is same or not verify whether correct modifier appended or not so it is uh, third scenario is not on the same claim first to check the application to see any global surgery code bill and also see what is the global period as all of us know global period is a period which is inclusive of pre operative inter operative and post operative period so for generally major procedure it is 90 days global period minor procedure it is 10 day global period for few procedures uh, ambulatory visits we don't have any global period zero global day period so we need to check global period first next see if modifier is appended or not if modifier is not appended then add the correct modifier and resubmit the claim as corrected claim note if modifier is not allowed then we need to escalate to client for further action or adjustment like in some cases based on the pay requirement we can't add modifier to the five digit cpt code that time we need to escalate to client for further action next one is age and gender denials first check eob department and find out whether the cpt or diagnosis code bill is inconsistent with patient age or gender why means age criteria in a cpt coding for few procedures we need to code based on the age of the patient and gender means few procedures only females can get those procedures males can't get so because of that reason we need to check age and gender also plays very important role in the medical coding denials next check if previously billed with same cpt or diagnosis code paid or not if paid send the claim back for reprocessing if not paid send the claim to the coding review update the correct code and resubmit the claim as corrected claim so this is simple guys so basically we need to check if we have two codes we need to check whether uh, the component code is inclusive of primary procedure or not 
sometimes based on pay requirement we can't code component procedure that time we need to add modifier whatever is the denial we need to check previous data to find out the payment to the that particular cpt code if we have paid to the cpt code previously we need to check with the payer that we have paid we got payment for this procedure previously we are looking for the same at this time also if not paid from coding side we need to check whether we can code other code or not as we see here age and gender also plays their important role in denials as in cpt based on age we have some codes and based on gender too we have some codes so because of that reason while coding we need to check the patient age as well as the gender otherwise we will get a denial based on age and gender next question how do you prevent place of service denials we need to follow the below steps to resolve the denial check the era or eob and find out the cpt code denied which is inconsistent with the place of service bill or reach out claim department and find out the procedure code which is inconsistent with the place of service why means in while coding few procedures will code in the outpatient department few codes will code in the inpatient department so while we have a place of service denials we need to check where the procedure has been performed so here to same whenever we have denial we need to check the previous claim previous uh, claim code and whether we have paid the money got the money or not if previously paid then send them send the claim back for the reprocessing if previously not paid we need to check the coding and we need to code it again like we need to change the place of service if the claim is billed incorrect as per the coding team then update the correct cpt and place of service and resubmit the claim as corrected claim as you know sometimes it is possible that we may make error while coding cpt as well as place of service if it is incorrect from the coding side we need to rectify that and we need to send it back to the payer so if everything is correct but still the insurance company is denying the claim for same then escalate to the provider for further action so provider means who is making the service what is the difference between eob and an ra while an eob is sent to the patient like explanation of benefits and ra is sent to the provider who build the services ra means remittance advice so both types of statements provide an explanation of benefits the content of the ra and the eob is nearly identical with the exception of few minor differences the major difference between ras and eob is that an eob contains disclaimer stating the eob is not a bill so basically eob is sent to the patient this ra is sent to the provider who has provided the service to the patient next question what information do ras and eobs contains answer in general both ras and eobs contain following information information regarding the patient next one is service provider next any adjustment made to the claim next the type of procedure performed next the date of procedure was performed next the cost of the procedure next an explanation if the payment was denied next additional information regarding the patient's benefits may include as well including particulars of the plan such as co-payment co-payments and deductibles co-payment means sometimes as the insurance pay we need to, as a patient need to pay like percentage of the treatment cost next question what are the claim adjustment group codes answer co oa pi and pr what is co co means contractual obligation contractual obligation the duties each party is legally responsible for acting upon a contract agreement so each party means here three parties like patient provider and payer so those three people are act legally and they need to have a contract so which is contractual obligation so they need to work based on the agreement what is write off a write off refers to an amount deducted by the provider from a medical bill and does not expect to collect payment owned by patients or payers 
so this is related to the provider sometimes provider may detect the bill so this one we can call it as write off what is oa answer it is oa is permitted to be used when no other group code is applicable for managing such write offs what is pi payer initiated reductions according to the payer when the patient is not financially viable for the adjustment and there is no supporting contract between the provider and the payer we can use pa so it is based on the patient situation so if he not is if patient is not able to pay we can use pa what is pr patient responsibility an adjustment sent out to the patient or insured portion of a bill for deductibles and copays this group code can post what is co4 the procedure code is inconsistent with the modifier used or the required modifier is missing for adju adjudication use the appropriate modifier for that procedure for example some lab codes require the qw modifier so in this way we can't add qw modifier to five digit cp code which is in the surgery section so qw is basically for lab codes we need to use only to lab codes what is co15 payment adjusted because the submitted authorization number is missing invalid or does not apply to bill services or provider resubmit the claim with the authorization number or valid authorization what is co50 answer non covered services that are not deemed a medical necessity by the payer yeah as we discussed previously we need to relate icd 10 cm diagnosis code and cpt code so non covered services that are not deemed a medical necessity by the payer so payer check while paying the payment he will check whether there is a medical necessity or not to avoid coding denials when you use a cpt code you must also demonstrate that it is reasonably and necessary to diagnosis or the patient medical condition so medical necessity is based on evidence based clinical standards of care check the diagnosis codes are bill to the patients so basically co50 is related to the medical necessity so CO50 is the sixth most frequent reason for Medicare claim denials as dependents non covered services because this is not deemed a medical necessity by the payer so when this design denial is received it means Medicare does not consider the item that was billed as medically necessary for the patient a CO50 denials cannot be resubmitted you got it so we can't resubmit this case so we while coding first time only we need to check whether medical necessity is there or not in between diagnosis and the procedure code or sometimes medications too sometimes injections too so as per the guidelines we can't submit co50 claim second time so it must be sent to redetermination if you do not send the claim to redetermination within 120 days of the date of the denial you have missed the timely filing deadline and will need to write up the claim so we need to send the claim within 120 days of the denial right of means we need to forget about that claim so for example if a claim is billed to medicare without a kx modifier it will be denied with the co50 denial when you add the kx modifier that states to medicare that the specified medical necessity document is in a file within the patient's medical record and that the patient meets the specified coverage criteria as outlined by the local coverage determination usually we'll call it as lcds so here kx modifier indicating to the medicare that patient have medically necessary documentation in the patient medical record so that we have coded that code next question what is co79 answer payment is denied when billed with this provider type this denial will be encountered if the provider is not eligible to render the service based on their provider type for example a scd program submitting a claim for mental health service so like uh, surgeon need to claim 
surgeons need to climb for the surgery services so they will not bill for the mental health services like that so what is co94 the climb is a duplicate of previous submitted paid climb so whenever we are sending the uh, like while resubmitting the climb to the payer we need to use co94 what is co97 the payment was adjusted because the benefit for this service is included in the payment for another service that has already been adjudicated resubmit the claim with the appropriate modifier or accept the adjustment what is co167 answer the diagnosis is not covered review the diagnosis code to determine if another code should have been used instead correct the diagnosis code or bill the patient next one what is co222 exceeds the contract maximum number of hours days and units allowed by the provider for this period what is co236 this procedure or procedure modifier combination is not compatible with another procedure or procedure modifier combination that was provided on the same day according to the ncca or work compensation state regulation pre schedule requirement the service has been paid as per another service you build on the same date of service next question what is co b16 the payment was adjusted because new patient qualifications were not met resubmit the claim with the established patient visit what is oa109 claim not covered by this payer or contractor you must send the claim to the correct payer or contractor if you cover it then resubmit the claim to the appropriate carrier what is pa204 the service equipment rug is not covered under the patient's current benefit plan bill the patient so whenever we get pa204 denial code uh, we need to uh, know that service equipment rug is not covered under the patient current benefit plan so here patient needs to pay the pay payment So what is PR one deductible amount bill to secondary insurance or bill the amount? So PR one code means patient needs to pay the bill. Guys, thanks for watching Passport Twenty One YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you need any assistance, please com mention in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy coding.